Okay, camera. The topic we're going to talk about right now is daily reports. This is a tool that I've been using for the last year or so. I've been using it on and off, but whenever I've been using it is when I was in the attempt of making something big happen and I wanted more structure and order in my life. So daily reports is basically the most effective tool you have for measuring yourself, improving yourself, and making sure that you're on the right path. Now daily reports, uh, as the name says, it's a daily thing that you need to do every single day, preferably before night, uh, before you go to bed. Just as you finish everything up and you know your day is done, um, you basically have four questions uh, you want to answer in the daily reports. And by the way, daily reports, either write them to yourself or write them to somebody you know. Uh, they could see them, it could be just a fake person, but make sure that if it is a real person and you are actually sending the two of them, uh, make sure that it's some, somebody who you don't really have any barriers with, where you can actually talk as honestly as you want or else it's going to fuck up the entire process. Now, daily reports, uh, like I said, are comprised of four different questions or statements that you want to answer. First one being, what have I accomplished today? So you want to answer the question, what are your accomplishments for the day? If you don't have any true accomplishments, just write none. What I consider accomplishments is things that are previously were thought to be impossible, things you didn't have before, things you didn't expect to be able to do, things that are actually out of the status quo. If they're not out of the status quo, they're just habits, well, I won't consider them as an accomplishment even if other people will. Remember, this is a tool for self-assessment. There's no ego here. Second question is, what are my goals for tomorrow? Now, the reason you want to set goals the day before uh, for tomorrow is because when you already have woken up the next day, you are very subjective in your experience. So let's say you want to achieve a certain thing like going to the gym for two hours well, if you haven't actually said that as a goal, when you wake up the next day, you're going to be affected by various uh, subjective things like tiredness or happiness or having good things happen to you or bad things happen to you, different things you need to react to. So you don't really want to uh, decide on that day what you need to do uh, because, again, you're going to be subjective. But the day before, even if it's just the night before, you can actually logically decide exactly what you need to do to progress forward and then the next day, it doesn't matter if you want to do it or not, you're going to have to do it because you know, you know not logically that you wanted to do it and that it was important. Now, the third uh, thing you want to write is challenges. So, what, did I, uh, what was I challenged by today? Um, or what was uh, something that annoyed me or was negative. Uh, basically, you want to make sure that you write down everything that didn't go as well as it should have or frustrated you. And the reason for this is that most people, they just spend their days, they don't really do anything, um, do anything worthwhile to actually mention things that they're not happy of. So let's say, you know, you have a relationship and you constantly fight with your spouse you don't really think about it, you just do it and forget it. And we humans, we tend to forget things very quickly and rationalize. So, um, you know, as is very popularly said, the biggest step of uh, solving a problem is actually being aware that you have a problem. So let's say that I go to sleep too late. Uh, if I write that down in my daily report, I go to sleep too late. Now I'm aware of it and my subconscious mind is going to solve that and going to make sure that it's not going to happen again. Uh, this could be people that annoy you, it could be financial problems, basically anything that is not perfect in your life right now. Uh, and again, bringing awareness to it is going to help you solve it. Now the fourth thing, the final thing you want to write down is a self-assessment from 0 to 100. It's basically a score that you give yourself based on your full potential. Now, full potential, what that means is that from the moment you woke up till the moment you went to bed, you were absolutely perfect, ideal, could not be better compared to Bill Gates or Gandhi or fucking Jesus, okay? So, I have never had a day where I rated myself higher than 30, just to give you some sort of relative comparison. 
So this thing is not to belittle you, it's not to make you feel small, it's actually useful because it makes you understand how much more powerful you can be and how much more you could do every single day. Again, uh, you wanna write down your accomplishments, your goals for tomorrow, your challenges and frustrations, and your self-assessment. This tool will keep you measured, on track, keep you uh, constantly self-adjusting just like a computer does, and will highly affect your journey and help you get focused and make sure you're doing everything right. So I recommend you try this habit at least for a month. Your life is gonna change completely and you're gonna be highly thankful of me. Till next time.